live stream is a great tool when it comes to spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can easily set up a simple but effective live stream for your church or ministry. Here are the things that you will need for this setup. You need a camera to capture the minister, a clean audio source from the mixer, a computer with live streaming software installed, and a good internet connection. The computer is a pivot point that connects all these tools together, or particularly the live stream software on the computer. It is what bridges the physical location and the live stream, so whatever you want to display or send from the physical location to the live stream must pass through this software. So what are the things that need to pass through? The video feed coming from the camera must pass through. That is, you need to get a way to bring your video feed into the computer. To do this, you need to link your camera to the computer using the right cable. Starting with the camera, you need to know the type of connector your camera uses to output the video. Most digital cameras use an HDMI connector, but check carefully to know what type of HDMI it uses. It could be a mini or a micro or full HDMI. Some cameras could be using SDI connectors, so check carefully. Get a cable that is long enough to cover the distance from your camera to your computer. To connect the cable to the computer, you need another device that to convert the cable connector to a USB, and the device is called Video Capture Card. It varies in type depending on the type of connector you want to convert. It may be HDMI to USB, or SDI to USB, or AV to USB. So choose based on the connector used on the camera. Some of you may think since it's an HDMI, why can't you just plug it directly into your laptop because your laptop has a female HDMI port. You can't do this because the HDMI port on your laptop is for output, not for input. That is, it only sends out feed from the computer to an external monitor. It does not take in video feed through that port. But USB ports on your computer are for input. So it's a must for you to get a capture card if you want to get your video into the streaming software. Once you get the right cable and capture card, plug in your cable into the camera. That's after you must have set up your camera. In this case, it's an HDMI cable. Then plug the other hand into the capture card and plug the capture card into your computer. On your broadcasting software, you can add the video input using the USB capture device as a source. You can watch my video on how to do this using OBS. Now that you are done with video, let's move to audio. The connection from your camera to your computer carries audio signals, but when you listen to them, they are not pleasant to the ears. It's not clean and it will pick surrounding noise. If the congregation is singing, you are going to be hearing the voice of the audience closer to the camera over the voice of the minister on stage. Hence, you need to get a clean audio signal directly from your mixer. To get a clean audio signal, you need to tap from your soundboard or your mixer. Check the output section on the mixer and plug in the appropriate cable. It may require a jack cable or an XLR cable. Connect one end of the cable to the mixer and the other end into the computer. But the problem is your computer does not have a quarter inch jack input or an XLR input. So just like in the case of the video feed, you also need another device to convert the signal to a USB. To resolve this, you need a sound card or an audio interface. Plug the other end of the cable coming from the mixer into the interface. Ensure the signal is coming in at the right volume, that is, avoid clipping. Then plug the interface into the computer. Set it as the default audio on your broadcasting software. If you don't know how to do that, watch my video on how to set up OBS. Once your software is properly set, connect your computer to the internet. Copy the stream key from the platform you wish to live stream, that is either Facebook or YouTube or any other streaming platform of your choice. If you want to learn how to set up Facebook or YouTube for live stream, or you don't know how to get your stream key, watch my video on how to live stream on Facebook and YouTube. Once you copy the stream key, paste it on the streaming software and start streaming on the software. Once you start streaming on the software, you should see it displayed on your streaming platform, either on Facebook or YouTube. Once you see it, you have to click go live again before you are actually live. Once you are live, anyone can join the live stream. You can also copy the link to the live stream and share with your community. Thank you for staying with me to the end of this video. Till I come your way next time, God bless you.